we try to bring an attitude of equanimity to the practice. Not because we don't care or because we're indifferent, but because the mind needs a place to step back and look at what's going on. So we have to combine equanimity with a lot of other skillful qualities. When equanimity is a Brahma-vihara, we combine it with compassion, goodwill, empathetic joy. In other words, we wish everybody well, and we're happy to do what we can to help people understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. But there are times we realize that we can't be of help. It's like the equanimity of a good doctor. The good doctor wants her patients to, to recover, and she's happy to do what she can, and she's happy to see them when they do recover. But she also has to realize that some diseases are beyond her, or the patient is obstreperous and doesn't want to take the medicine. That's where the equanimity comes in, so that your goodwill doesn't turn into suffering, and so that you can focus your energies on areas where you can be of help. So as the Buddha said, equanimity can be skillful or unskillful, but it depends on the qualities you combine it with. If you combine it with persistence, determination, that's the equanimity in the, in the perfections. We're aiming at victory. And as the Buddha said, the path we're following is a path of victory. It's not one where we give up or we're defeatist. There was that interview I saw years back on Sages Buddhist, where the teacher was saying the Dharma is all about learning to accept things as they are and, not to, and to realize you can't make any changes, that the way of the world is just the way of the world. And the interviewer asked her, isn't that defeatist? Isn't that pessimistic? And the teacher said, only if you think about it, which is a horrible thing to say. The Buddha doesn't want us not to think. He wants us to think and to plan and to strive. Simply that as a good soldier, you realize there are times when you're going to have setbacks. And you have to have the confidence that you can get around the setbacks. And equanimity is a good foundation for that. So you combine the equanimity with persistence, determination, so that you can come out victorious too.